there! So today is Bubble Day for our theme day, and we're going to read the book called The Bubble Factory by um, Tommy DePola. But before I continue, I want to show you this. So in our bubble activities today, one of them is going to be to try to create your own bubbles. So Miss Camilla looked to see if she had her own bubbles, because some of you might already have bubbles. I didn't have any. So I took just a little bit of water and a little bit of dish soap, can't wait to show you that I also, oh, to make my bubble lawn, I got a um, straw and I put it inside of a toothbrush holder. And I just don't want to make a mess, but I will show you what it looks like to blow bubbles. Hopefully they'll catch on video. You see that? Look, I, anyone can make bubbles. So I hope you have a great bubble day, but let's read our read aloud first. Okay. The Bubble Factory. Sam and Molly were always getting into things and Grandpa was always getting them out. So, oops, so one day, they, he handed them, the twins, jars of bubbles to keep them out of trouble. Double bubbles, they were called, because with each wave of the double wand, out came not one, but two bubbles. Perfect for twins, Grandpa said, and made right here in town at the bubble factory where I used to work. The bubble factory, the twins said at the same time. Would you take us there today? So off they went. Before long, they turned down a winding road, and there it was. It looked like an ordinary factory for that was coming out of the chimney. Bubbles! Lots and lots of bouncy bubbles in every color you can imagine. Sam and Molly couldn't wait to go inside. Grandpa introduced them to Mr. B, the head bubble maker, who was just as round as a bubble himself. I'm going to show you exactly how bubbles are made, Mr. B told the twins. The first stop was the great bubble machine, a maze of wheels and gears and leaves and levers and pulleys. Jar after jar popped onto the belt, mechanical arms moved up and down, placing a wand in each one of them. Then, but filling and capping them, all at once. Next, they visited the bubble ba the bubble bathery. Here, new kinds of bubble baths were being tested in a big bathtub by a bubble o meter. Down the hall was a bubble boutique with really fancy bubbles floating everywhere. Polka dot ones, striped ones, even bubbles with your name on them. In the bubble gummery next door, brand new bubble gum were being invented. Whistling bubble gum, non-popping bubble gum, and bubble gum that did the chewing for you. Mechanical heads were testing blowing bubbles. One had pink goo all over its face. The last stop was the bubble lab. This was the place where the bubbles of the future were invented. Bubbles which had started out as only an idea in someone's brain. Can we see them? The twins asked. Mr. B shook his head. Sorry, but it's too soon. They're not ready yet. Grandpa looked at the twins. If I go, will you take to stay out of trouble? The twins nodded. So Mr. B led him, them out into the hallway and sat them on a bubble bench. The hallway, sat them into the hallway and then 
He said, stay right there until I get back. Grandpa told them, I won't be long. Sam and Molly went to do exactly what Grandpa said. But Mr. B had left the door to the bubble lab open. So I don't think they're listening to the rules. So quicker than it takes a bubble to pop, they were inside again. Sam took one jar, Molly took another. They looked at each other. Let's try them, they said together. We went back to the bubble machine. All the bubble workers were at the meeting. The bubble machine was turned off. I see the on button, Sam said. They both reached for it and pushed. The machine gave a giant blub. Now what are we doing, gonna do? Sam asked. Molly pointed to a large funnel with a sign on it that said, pour here. So they did. A little from Sam's jar and a little from Molly's jar. At first, nothing happened. But Sam and Molly kept hoping. Then suddenly, bubbles by the billions came whooshing out of the machine. Look what's happening to the bubbles, said Molly. Wow, said Sam. It's all of our wishes have come true. Let's see if I can get this screen. There you go. All the different balloon, uh, bubbles. They kind of look like balloons. Here's some too. Let's see. Try to turn the bubbles off so you can see these bubbles. And We'll go back. The twins could not believe their eyes. What did we do? Molly asked. I don't know, but let's do it again, Sam said. There, they were just about to pour in more from jar A and more from jar B when Grandpa and Mr. B came running in. Uh -oh, I, I don't think they're gonna make anything very happy. What's going on in here? Mr. B asked. We just saw a bubble rocket coming out of the chimney. Sam and Molly looked at each other. I'm sorry, Molly said. We didn't mean to make such a mess. Sam nodded. I wish there were some way for us to clean it up. No sooner said than done. Out of the bubble machine came a clean up squad of vacuum cleaners, brooms, dustpans, and mops. They all went to work. Ah, the bubbles are just matching. In a splash, everything was back as it had been before. Grandpa and Mr. B stood with their mouths open. This is amazing, cried Mr. B. No one has ever made bubbles like this before. What did you do? Sam and Molly showed Mr. B the bottles. It's easy. All you do is put in some of jar A and some of jar B. Then your wishes come true. You've made wish bubbles, said Grandpa. You, we've been trying to do that for years now. Then Mr. B, we need you around here. Will you come back? Who knows what else you'll dream of. That was fine with Sam and Molly. When it was time to leave, they got a big send off. In a Ride home in Mr. Bubbles' bubble mobile. See the car. That night, after Grandpa kissed them each good night, they felt something under their pillows. Bubble jar with a note from Mr. B. Memo from Mr. B. Thank you for the wonderful wish bubbles and sweet dreams, Mr. B. They have little bubble jars. Well, I 
Hope you liked the bubble factory. There's going to be a few questions on the next slide to submit about what we read. I hope you enjoy them, and I hope you enjoy all of the bubble activities we have. Bye!